If you're just tuning in, uh, then my name is Joel Duggan, and the Citadel is where I play Minecraft with some friends, and we do geeky stuff, and that includes geeky stuff like this giant circle that goes all the way around 128 block radius, so it's 257 blocks across, and the idea is that we're going to slab the countryside to increase the uh, aggro regen and the spawn rates in the gold farm. And the first question that everybody asks is, why did you not build this on the roof of the nether? And my answer is because I didn't want to. Uh, I think this is a little bit more fun. If you don't mind, please and thank you. Gotcha. Ha! First time. See, I don't suck at Minecraft. <laughs> Says the guy that died in the first 15 minutes of his stream because he threw an ender pearl into that lake of lava right there. I died right there. There was a ghast and I thought I had the bow. I didn't have the bow. I had an ender pearl, and it was bad. Thanks, Desmo Dame. I appreciate it. All right, so we are at, I think this was something 92, 219. So 220 is where we need to get to, and we are at three. So 220 is the landing. Two twenty, and it's ten blocks vertically, and this is at one. Say one ninety three. So one ninety two to so one ninety two to two twenty. is 28 28 divided by 10 is two blocks nah don't want to do that let's do sections of one two three probably sections of three We're probably going to do sections of three and i think that will get us most of the way there Frost and Gaming, thanks so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, if you're interested, you can also follow me on Twitter. I do tend to tweet out when I'm going to stream about 30 to 60 minutes ahead of time. So if I know, then I'm going to, uh, uh, I'll let people know ahead of time so they have time to, uh, to get ready and show up. And thanks for the host. That's super nice of you. I appreciate that you like the content so much that you've decided to share it with your, your viewers and followers. That's very kind. Do, 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 oh. Am I out of another rack? I think I'm out of another rack. All right, let's go get a ton of another rack. I'm, I'm getting sick of, of running out. Yes, I know that there's a ton just kind of sitting here, but I need to, uh, we need to replenish the stores, I think. It'd be, I think it would be better to, uh, to just get everything sorted And go from there. So let's uh, let's go for a little run. Wow! Hello, Mr. Gast. You're real close. Drop anything good? Gast head. I have a gast head. Alistair, do you have a gast head yet? Do you want one? I have one. I got one yesterday. You gave me boots earlier. Here. Boop. So we're gonna move this road over a little bit, so that it lines up with what we're doing. Eventually, I'd like to change this bridge to, I mean, it's, it's, Alistair put it in, but I think it's always been intended as a temporary, temporary path. I'm so spoiled. I'm used to flying. I lost my elytra in that death at the beginning of the stream. This is indeed just vanilla. Uh, you might be a little bit confused because I've got some custom texture packs, packs going on, so that, that could be part of um part of the guess but yes it is just vanilla we have a couple of data packs uh they're quality of life things uh some of the data packs we have are things like player heads uh, we've got the dragon drops elytra when you kill it shulker boxes drop or shulkers drop two shells each time so it's a little bit easier to grab them we also have a custom uh, we also have a custom way to get shulker boxes. They 
if you spawn an Endermite on Purper, then it will burrow into Purper, and then it will um, it will create a Shulker box. It takes a while, and you still have to kill the Shulker. So it's it's not like a a, a win button, uh, but we had a lot of people that were um, having trouble uh, on the server. Wow, this is oh, it's because my inventory is so full. Let's just dump some of this stuff here. Glowstone, gunpowder. I don't, I don't really need the gunpowder. I don't really care. Mushrooms, mushrooms, slabs. I could probably put this away. Gas tier. Sorry if this is all kind of helter skelter for people watching. I'm just trying to get get this done as fast as possible. This is a, a silo full of uh, of netherrack, by the way, for people that are wondering where it's all coming from. Uh, it's uh, quite a few double chests full of netherrack. It looks like some of them are actually empty now. Just curious. So we can grab that. And I thought I had more. Maybe I don't. At least not there. I know where I do have more. We've got them. We've got some down in the Blaze Farm. Well, that's fine. We've got some new people on the server, so we're gonna go for a little bit of a cruise. Uh, even more impressive. Yeah, I was guessing texture packs, but uh, this is a lot of work done. Yes, thank you. Yeah, uh, the server's been up for almost two years, and it's not just me. Uh, I've done quite a bit of designing, but I've, I've had a lot of help on big digs, big projects, big farms, um, and Matt Cast and Alistair have also designed their own stuff and, and done some really cool things. We also have Megan Townsend on the server. Um, she's someone that I podcast with. Uh, Alistair's been on the podcast a couple times too, my, my Citadel Cafe podcast. Uh, who else is on? I say Megan Alistair, Matt Cast, and Cosmic Dancer. Cosmic Dancer is my, my mod here on Twitch, and she's not on right now, uh, but she's she's on quite a fair bit as well. But yeah, there's a lot going on. That's the Desert Portal. Nether Fortress, and this should take us to the workroom for the ginormous dig that I did for the Blaze Farm. And this is where we're going to get a lot of Nether Rack. If you, th you think that silo was full of Nether Rack, wait till you see this. This is just... Nuts. There's a lot of nether rack in here. All of these chests. That's all it is. It's just it's just under rack. I'm not sure what you want to call the style of the Citadel. It's very just Minecraft. Like it's just every room, every area, every build kind of differs just a little bit. We've got log cabins and modern houses and um, red barns full of chicken cookers. Like it's all just very... I don't know, there's sort of a rustic farm feel to Dartmouth Meadows. There's not like too many, there's no city streets. There's no pavement. There's no cars. There's no skyscrapers. I'll check the time when I get back to the to the workroom here and the, the time left will tell us just how long it takes to go refresh Netherrack. Looks like the ghast was shooting at somebody that was standing up here. <laughs> Probably Alistair. Uh, survey says... Seven minutes and 50 seconds. How sweet was that? All right, so now we can just dump a bunch of this stuff in here. Ah, nether rack. Okay, I see what you're doing. We're going to need more than one. I tell you what we should do is this. Let's grab a hopper. And we'll just do this. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. These are really brightly colored silicone boxes. This feels better. Now we don't have to go nearly as far. Speak of the devil. Protect Alistair! Oh! 
<laughs> it blew up before it disappeared. <laughs> I thought it was going to disappear. So one, two, and then we can just go up from here. We'll just do this kind of like one bit at a time. So this is kind of cool. We're actually going through this, this point. So this might be kind of fun. So I'm curious how close we're going to get. I don't, I don't think we're going to have to move this. I hope we don't have to move that road. I hope my math is right. I hope my math is right. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. No, we're going to have to move it. Unless we do a steep stair here, we're going to have to move it. Do we want to do that for now? Maybe that's something we should do for now. So if we didn't want this to change, if we wanted this to stay stairs, like that, like that, and then how would we do this? These are going to be stairs here, here, Yeah, I, that's it. We'll, we'll leave it like that for now. I might come back and change it. I just, I don't want to get into something too. I don't want to relo relocate that road and rebuild it on stream. We already did that together. We don't need to do that again. Uh, like that. There we go. There. So now when we come in, we'll come in at this level. And you'll have to turn, go up this way, cut through. We'll probably trim this down. And then you can turn this way. We'll have to have, we might make this platform a little bit bigger, just so that's a little bit more time for you to, to curve. We, we might end up moving that eventually, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to run it a couple times and see what's up. So it's a little bit jumpy. Not my favorite, but we can't go up and just slabs because then we'd end up with top slabs on some of these. And all of these platforms have to be either stairs or 0.5s to keep these little friends from spawning. So I'd rather avoid that. So that's good. That means that we are almost at the point where we can rip out the other road. Because uh, for now, we can just do something like this. Build this in here just so we have a little temporary walkway so when we do need to go down there we can still get down there but we will have to now come up with a way to do the entrance that looks kind of cool too it's a nice view whoop don't hit a pigman if he hits a pigman we are in big trouble oh alistair got him nice with the gas head on. Love it. Wonder how he felt knowing that he was killed by one of his own kind. You completely obliterated him. I love that Alzer didn't even realize that he killed him. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, so this is the low level. We're not going any any lower than this because of the view, as it were. So let's just take this all the way over. So this is the zone where we're going to have this platform. So let's just do this here. Because what I want to do is translate those stone slabs up to this level so that we can see where we're at. I want to be able to map out the edge here so that that's going to need a stone slab like that. Need more of those. I think I have some ready in here. Yes, I do. Awesome. Let's grab those two. So we've got a couple of custom recipes as well. Uh, we can make all of the smooth stone like the smooth sandstone and the smooth variants. We've got that all covered as well. So when I first started playing Minecraft, 
uh, when was this? Back when I was first learning the game, I had a different world and I was building Snake Mountain from He-Man, cartoon from when I was a kid. And I was way up in the air. I didn't have Elytra and I was building like the head of this snake that's hovering like way out over like four or five, eight times as high as this. And I was getting vertigo playing, playing the game. It was bananas. Really thought it was an interesting interesting experience in such a simple, a deceptively simple game. Simple looking game at first, I would say it's the best way to say it. So that's one. And then this one, let's change this out as well to something very distinct. So we know that is where we want to put that. Whoa. don't know how wide this is going to be, but I feel like we have to center it around this. So we should probably make it the same distance to like from there to here should also be the same distance to the next, to the next low point, right? Like that seems to make sense. Um, That, that to me would make the most the most sense, or at least have it be substantial. Like I want to be approaching these this gate at the same level as the gate, but far enough away that you can actually see it. Yeah, so you and I have been playing the game for a little bit. I feel like I was playing longer. Oh, you know what it is? I've been playing Minecraft for two years, but the Citadel is only a year and a half old. That's, that's where I'm getting confused. He-Man, true purple. Now we're talking, buddy. Now we're talking. Who's your favorite He-Man character? I mean, besides He-Man. So like, let's let's rule out He-Man. But who who was your favorite character besides besides the main the main dude? Because we can talk He-Man all day, folks. He-Man and Transformers. The sci-fi area that I want to plan for the Citadel is going to be super inspired by Transformers. It's going to be awesome. She-Ra's cat. she -Ra had a cat? I thought she had like a flying owl and a horse. They don't make He-Man, no. There's an excellent documentary made by a Canadian production crew. And I am unfortunately blanking on the name. Wow, Alistair, do you remember the name of that? Alistair and I did a... Um, we did a uh, an episode of the Citadel Cafe and talked about it. It's very, very cool. Masters of the Universe or something was the name. Um, it's on Netflix, and I think it should still be on Netflix. Watching Twitch 16. Hello. Thanks for the follow. We've got a lot of new follows today. I should I should put up a, like a new follows ticker for, uh, for the top of the, the leaderboard there. That should be cool. For anybody new that's wondering, the leaderboard is, is new this weekend. Um, I'm trying out some new new stuff. I wanted to be able to reward followers visually more than just a single pop-up. So the latest follower is going to pop up in the middle of the screen eventually. Uh, total number of subs is the first number. That's the 12. And we've got uh, the latest sub. And then on the far right-hand side is the top bits donation for this stream. And that currently belongs to Sillencraft. Uh, okay, where am I looking here? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, I think that's probably that's a good place to start. Whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six, three more. This is deja vu from yesterday. We were we were out over lava doing some of the circle, and uh, it was definitely some some puckered moments, to say the least. So what did I say? That was six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think from here we're going to switch back to 
cobble just because I'm not really sure what's happening. So at this point, I feel like it's good. It would be good to, to start to go up because this is going to be tricky on an angle to calculate the distance. I guess we could just calculate that distance. So where are we? Where are we here? We are at 288. Well, that's easy to remember. The Power of Grayskull, the Definitive History of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Thank you, Alistair. Much appreciated. The uh, One of the cinematographers that made the documentary actually wrote into the Citadel Cafe podcast to say how much they liked our conversation about it, which I was immensely flattered. I thought that was very, very cool of them. Um, they did a great documentary. It's fantastic. If you like that kind of stuff, True Purple, check out that doc. It's awesome. The cat was He-Man's. You're right, Paranor. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I feel like Paranor and Alistair would get along. Cowabunga dude. Right after He-Man, I got into Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles were also, also something I very much enjoyed as a kid. They're great. Solid cartoon, great action figures, weird action figures, like in a good way. Really, really weird. Okay, so you pig, I'm just, you're gonna go. You're gonna go, I don't wanna hear. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. Goodbye. Oh, come on. I was so close. Just get, beat it. Run away. See ya. Really? What are you, are your toenails? Anyway, okay. Uh, what was I looking for? I was looking for 277, 276. So 278. So 10. 10 blocks. And this is 49. I forget to check what we were on. 53, I think. So it's only four, only four steps vertically, I think. Four steps vertically. Survey says my memory, 43. No, six. So five. Wait a minute. Let's just do this. 43 up to 49. So it's six vertically and it was 10, just 10 blocks. Why am I stuck? Weird. So 10 blocks horizontally, 288 and 43 to 49 because we're, we're on a half slab right now so 49 and 278 let's push it and go and go 16 or 18 i feel like i want to do at least steps of three so we'll just go in steps of three until we hit the right path and go from there. I think that's probably the best way to go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. That's 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 better. That feels good. That feels good. Both Alistair and I are in Canada, so that could be why the the documentary might not show up for you. So time to carve into the side here. We are on these black ones were something that I put in earlier. So it's good that they're there because those are marking the center. That means that we did not screw up. One, two, one, two. This is going to be a half. I think I'd much rather go up V-shaped stairs than point-shaped stairs. If that makes sense. When people do stairs at an angle, do you normally do stairs like that? You know, like would you would you put blocks here? and go up the point or would you do blocks there and go up the v we could alternate i guess you know i like i'm liking the v let's go with the v plus you know paranor said so so if it looks like crap in the end we can just blame paranor this is the path on the way out but we're going to turn around and check it out on the way back in 
So these two pillars are going to be special. It's going to look like an entrance. Thanks, McFly. Appreciate it. Then this is the gradual staircase leaving the gold farm. And when you're coming into the gold farm, it will look like this. You come this way, turn, and you're looking right at it. You go down this gradual staircase. This will be wider. I know this will be wider. Come down here, and then you're kind of like right on the level. You go through the entrance. You see the gold farm, and then you're going to turn left to go up here. I think we're going to clear that out. I don't like losing sight of the gold farm, so I think we're going to end up blitzing that and getting rid of it. And then you turn the corner here, and that takes you all the way to the platform. I think I just stole Alistair's gas tier. And then you can come here, and we'll go straight down the stairs, which will more than likely line up with those stairs. It'll be real close. I don't know. I'm guessing. But we're going to be lining up very, very close to those, I think. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, that that's the plan. Uh, we're not there yet. It's taken a long time to do, but it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. You might see some of these chopped up as VODs on my YouTube channel. If you do, then please leave a like and subscribe over there. If you do miss a stream, then chances are I will turn it into a YouTube uh, video. I do tend to chop these up and make some Let's Play videos out of them, so that's always good. Be sure to tune into the Spawn Chunks. It's the podcast that I do with Pixel Riffs. We record a new episode tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the new Minecraft Snapshot. Uh, that is 19W17A, I think. I can't. I don't remember the, the terminology, but it's the latest snapshot that came out last Wednesday. Uh, and follow Pixel Riffs on Twitch and YouTube as well. Uh, and hey, there's Alistair McFly. You should, you should follow him as well <laughs> as he bounces up and down. Um, but this has been fun, guys. I really appreciate the company. Great talking to everybody, and I will see you next time.